All right, so my post of um, my VJ interface, uh, it has the name Belkar, got a lot of traction in, in the Facebook group, in the Touch Designer Hub group. So I want to show you how far I come and how it looks like in action, how it's to use, and also the little things I'm working on to, to get and make better at the moment, because there's this, still some stuff not quite working, but um, yeah. So what Belka basically is, is uh, it's a clip launcher, a layer-based clip launcher. So you have like every row is, um, is a layer and in every layer you basically have one clip playing at a time. So you can always switch between the different clips and uh, you control every layer in separately and so you can't really control the the single um clips but just the, the layer as a whole so you ha have to think about it and the control is done in this right window where it already says pretty big settings and you have like for example here different composite options and at the moment you have the playback speed, which will always be a part of this one. Uh, but also, you can change the, the overall speed of, um, of every clip playing uh, with these buttons here on the top left. So to start a clip, you just um, click on one and it will start playing and then you will see here on the right you have uh, a preview of what's going on and if we now take um, another one another clip and and start it you will see um, on the left side you will have the preview just of the layer and on the right side you will have a preview of the composition of every layer together at this moment so like um, this the top layer will select the layer beneath and the layer beneath and the layer beneath so uh, when I start now this one uh, you can actually see on the right side how it goes and actually you can take the mouse and just scroll through so you can decide if, if you want to have um, a preview of the layer or a preview of your output at the moment. So for example, if, if we take a multiply in, in this position, it, yeah, it, it just multiplies if you take over at brightest, divide, glow, inside luminance, outside luminance, subtract and under. Um, these are just composition types I found most useful. Um, but if you have suggestions about other nice composition t types, uh, just write me so I can um, I can add them in, in no time. It's no problem. And also, for example, uh, I think we would take the over so we can see it and we would just stop this clips playing. You can see it, like fourth is four times slower than this time and this will play very fast. There is actually a problem and I'm not quite sure how uh, wh where the problem is that when I change the, the time to one fourth or uh, one quarter of the time it will sometimes um, slow down drastically and, and decrease the FPS you can, can see on top. So I'm sitting at the moment at my desktop PC which uh, takes is a lot beefier than my laptop uh, with a 1050. So um, this is to keep in mind. Yeah, as I did before, we can uh, just deactivate the channel with just like pressing again and it will fade out. So no need for like having a fader wheel or anything to, to control the, the luminance of or the, the opacity of your layer. It will do everything automatically and it will always change and actually fade between the different clips in uh, like half a second. So uh, if you want to load different or new clips, you just press the edit button 
uh, here in the top. And you see the, the interface color changes, the control buttons uh, disappear. And also here in the top, we got a load um, tab. And if we press it, we get an overview of our different uh, movie files. And actually like you define one movie or a video file folder and inside the folder you can put another uh, or you have to actually <laughs> you have to um, define different subfolders with uh, all your different movies because um, at first I, I tried this one and I had like I think f I have like 400 clips um, at the moment and it just was not possible to fade in and fade out um, this menu without like taking a big break in, in my FPS, like half a second, it was just loading. And yeah, with these buttons, we can just clip through them. And actually there's another problem where I don't know why it's doing this. It's like just this one folder, but all the other folders work very nice. So uh, now we can just select our uh, clip where we want to go and just press the button and you can see that it's loading the file and here we want to for example have a pattern and we can actually use the scroll wheel in this one um yeah we, we can take this one and this one and this one and when we are finished with like preparing our clips for the next one we can just leave the edit and the load button disappears but it does not jump back right to the settings. So we have to press settings again at the moment. And now we can just play our our clips and actually we can just like put them together. The, the next important thing which like every, um, yeah, every clip launcher needs is like you need an FX section, you, you want to, increase like your your stuff enrich your your clips so and uh, because even if you have 200 clips after a while they they will start to get boring so you can add clips um fx so yeah we will have this fx and i defined just like two fx per layer we, we can increase it and actually here's a bug because they need to like span over all of it and yeah we can just press the button and um, activate the, the effect. And to load new effects, we again, just press the edit button and okay, yeah, there, <laughs> there's definitely a bug and we can just press the button and again, we, we go to load and at the moment we, we have the same system of uh, subfolders and then we have external talks you can load. So for example, if I load invert, it will automatically jump to invert and if you jump to edge it will jump to edge the problem with um this one is you um will definitely encounter when you have bigger patches um bigger fx patches because like this one at the moment is just one top you will have a drop in fps and you will definitely have a short freeze to load a new talk so uh, always keep this in mind and maybe prepare like four or maybe five different uh, fx and just use them and also what's happening at the moment is we don't have any parameters for the fx but this is definitely going to be the next step to add F, um, parameter control of your effects or um, yeah, of, of my effects I, I offer you, but also uh, feel free to, to add your own FX. Like at the moment, the only, only need is to have like an input and an output. So um, last but not least, we have our um, BPM button and it's actually, uh, to it's a click to to sync it's a tap button and as you can see it gets faster but also you saw um that there is at the moment a bug occurring or something i i didn't found a way to work around is when you take a while because it, it takes the the current system time in milliseconds and uses the difference between the clicking to <clears throat> determine 
the the speed, which is very performance uh, savvy. But you, yeah, you will have the problem that when you wait a lot of time and press again, like it will jump down to somewhere way, way, way low, and all the clips will, will stop playing <laughs> practically, and you have to just like press four times to actually get the the right speed back at it. So this is something I'm definitely going to work on. Um, let's have a, a short look uh, under the hood. So um, it's very uh, controllable. So I think the, the import, most important things is um, you have these four different uh, tables and with this table you can define how many layers and uh, how many clips and how many FX per layer you want to have. So for example, if I say I, I, I'm feeling frisky, I'm just saying I'm going to take 10 layers. And as you can see, when I have the clips, I have uh, like 10 different layers playing. And yeah, it's the same. Let's for example, okay, I, I just need four layers, but I want to have like 10 clips per layer. It's also no problem. It will automatically uh, fit the, the complete interface to, to suit your, your demand, which is, uh, yeah, very nice. And um, also you can define depending on your, your screen or maybe if you have like a very um, wide screen or you have a narrow screen, you can define uh, how much of the screen your your width and your height is, is going to take up of your screen. So for example, when when I don't really need a lot of, of this stuff going on on the left, I can just put in a, a 0 0.9. And now you see uh, my thing just got way, way, way bigger, um, which is still going to work in some way, but as you can see, um, yeah, but you have the freedom. This is like the, the most important thing I, I wanted to say. Um, so let's put it back and yeah, there we go. Um, yeah, so how to use it in the end, it's just like it's going to be this, this talks where you can define your video file folder and you have X folder and in the end here's going to be, yeah, it, it's just going to be an output. And